I'm so. I need you to talk to me. You know you can talk to me. I am here to listen to you. Whatever we discuss in here remains private. So is there anything? They said a problem shared is half solved. I know you have a problem, but no one seems to understand you, not even your parents. But I assure you, I'll try my best to understand you. So tell me whenever you're ready. I know for the fact that our parents do not understand us. I was once your age, and I can tell you perfectly well what you're going through. Most of the times, we rather bottle them up all than to speak, so that we will not be judged nor condemned. But come so, I am not here to judge nor condemn you. Whatever we discuss in here remains confidential. Trust me, not even your parents will know about it. Tell me what is bothering you. I'm in love. Good morning. Good morning, Kamso. How was your night? So, how are you feeling today? I am ready whenever you're ready. I love my dad. Is it wrong? Aren't I supposed to love him? I, I mean, he's my dad. You said that during our last section. But can I ask you this? Do you think anyone is against you loving your dad? It's just crazy and I don't get it. What is crazy, Kamso? The way everyone is reacting. He is my dad. And you think everyone's reaction to it is weird? Just because you love your dad the same way every other daughter should love their dad? You want to start from the beginning. I remember being very close to my dad at a very young age. My mom said I would never let anyone carry me, including her, except my dad. But I only became aware of this at, I think, age 10. You have to hurry, okay? So we let us go. What's wrong? I want to follow Daddy to the office. And why is that? I just want to follow you. My friend, will you hurry up with your breakfast so I can drop you off at school? When did you start all this? Oh, come on. Calm down, Daddy. My angel, you need to go to school, okay? Any day you won't be going to school, I will take you along as I go to my office. All right? Honey, you need to hurry up to the office. You're going to be late. I can't deal with your daddy-daughter drama today. I have a lot of things to do. Yes, I understand you're just trying to be jealous. It's, it's natural. It's okay. But don't worry. Uh, sweetie, everything I told you, I meant it. Okay? On my way back from office, I'll buy you chocolate. I'll buy you lollipop, 
I'll buy you cake. I know you like cake. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm, my darling. Bye, sweetheart. Mm. Love you, birds. Love you, too. Because the day will come when mommy will not, will not be there to do the cooking, you will prepare food for me. Oh, don't you want to cook for daddy? You want to cook for me, right? I said, good, so be a good girl. Go to the kitchen and help mommy to prepare food for us, okay? Good girl. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Why don't we go to the kitchen and prepare the food together? Yes! <laughs> Shouting your name. Didn't hear you. Sorry. How will you hear? How will you hear when you've locked yourself out of reality with this rubbish in your ears? See, why do you, young lady, like hurting yourselves? Why? Don't you know this thing could deter your listening ability? Not if it's not loud enough. See. Come on. Mm. See? Hmm? It's not loud enough. And besides, it's not just any type of song. It's yours and mom's favorite song. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I love the song too. Mm -hmm. See what you're enjoying. <laughs> What's going on here? Teaching dad how to use modern day technology. Are you done with the dishes? Almost. And I've been yelling your name for like ages. Oh, I'm sorry mom. I didn't hear. How would you hear? When you've turned this kitchen into a disco hall. My friend, will you switch off that thing and uh, hurry up with the dishes? Oh, darling, you're here? Until the day that will be you Leaving me for real <laughs> This is awesome, wow All right, darling All right, take care of yourself, eh? Sweetie, huh? You guys, are you missing me? Just let me Good afternoon. Afternoon. You come with me. That's your moment. Come soon. 
That's your mom, right? Yeah, you, you guys just sit. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Just sit. What in heaven's name was going on out there? Nothing, mom. They're my friends. Your friends? Yes, mom. And you people have turned the house into a disco hall? No, mom. We're just playing music. Music? Do you know where I hear the sound from? Is this what you do when you're home alone? No, mom. They're both my friends from school. I don't want to hear it. Just go out there and clear everything up. Okay, I'll ask them to help me clean up. Clean up? I don't want to see either of them when I come out there. Mom, you want me to ask them to leave? Yes. And that's your punishment for turning my house upside down. Please. Don't. Just go out there and when you're done, come and clear this thing up so we can prepare for your dad's dinner. Feel so long. 